Giovanni, and this is The Dreaming Show. In today's show, I'm going to talk to Thomas Melgarejo from Show We Dance. Hi, Thomas. How Hi, are Gabby. You? All good. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for your first, uh, some of the, it's the first one, The Dreaming Show. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here with us. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about you, please? Yes, well, a little bit about me. I'm from South America. I was born in Paraguay. Um, then I grew up in Argentina. Um, I do fitness, dancing. Yeah, that is like a, the big idea. How long have you been doing fitness? Um, fitness, um, I started more than 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Being a gym instructor. Um, then I moved to dancing, I started doing dancing, Latin music, um, now Zumba, Argentinian tango. Mm -hmm. yeah. how, did you, how did you start with dancing? I, uh, I started dancing uh, by accident because I'm gym instructor and then I met one uh, Peruvian girl and she taught me about the, this Latin rhythm. I never heard about it, about salsa. Um, and merengue. So she showed me how to dance, she gave me some music, and slowly, slowly, some of the, her friends uh, showed me the steps, and yeah, I started dancing. Where did you meet her? In Argentina. Argentina? Yeah. Okay, okay. Tell me more about uh, tango. I heard something that you, tango. Yeah, uh, tango is, of course, is from Argentina. Um, when I came to Australia, people asked me to do some tango lesson, and so I started doing tango, um, so now we add to our classes, uh, not just Latin, not just salsa, we do tango as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, could you tell us please about the benefits of salsa, tango, of dancing? Dancing in general, yeah. So if you dance, if you dance, your metabolism change. Mm -hmm. I heard, uh, I read one article about, about dancing, mm -hmm. they say that Dancing tango is really good for your heart. It's not just one random documentary about it. It's just a special research uh -huh. they did. They did in Argentina. One famous uh, cardiologist. He started doing research, and they found that dancing tango is really good for the heart. The benefit for the heart because they got the embrace. And sometimes we forget to hug to somebody. So <laughs> this hug, this embrace, is really important for us. So we need to hug. We need to be hugged. So they found that dancing tango is really uh, is really good for the heart. It's benef beneficial mm -hmm. for the heart because we need to be loved. We need so. to be yeah because we are people who live in company. We are not lonely mm -hmm. human beings. We, we need to and the tango that is a good thing in tango. We can embrace and feel that another person is there, just there next to mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. I know Thomas that today you are going to celebrate the fourth anniversary. Yes, for anniversary doing Zumba. Mm -hmm. Zumba is a fitness dancing program. Mm -hmm. um, this program was uh, created by one Colombian uh, man. He's a personal trainer as well. Um, one day he forgets his music and he starts playing his own music. So that's how he created uh, Zumba. That is basically the, the story of the beginning of Zumba. So I started teaching Zumba when I came in Melbourne four years ago. I mm -hmm. did the training and I started teaching. So now I'm going to celebrate my first four years mm -hmm. teaching Zumba. The Dreaming Show will be covering the event. Ah, uh, that will be lovely. <laughs> Tell me, do you have any challenges in the past? I have a few challenges in the past, uh, especially when I came to Australia. Mm -hmm. um, I have the barrier of the languages, the language. I didn't, the I didn't speak English, I speak just the basic stuff, mm -hmm. but I didn't know how to ask a coffee, for example. Mm -hmm. I always ask to my friend, can you please ask a, co ask a coffee for me? And one day I said to him, let me, let me try. And I, and I read on the, the, the board, uh, cafe latte. <laughs> and so I said, let me, let me try. And I went to the, this guy and said, hi, they know me already because we were working out with every day. So it's like a sort of, we know each other. I said, hi, uh, can I have cafe late, please? <laughs> I thought that was latte was late, but it was latte, so yeah. Uh, that is my way how I learned to speak English, mm -hmm. uh, try and listen to people and try to pronounce 
yeah. and sometimes have problems, but who doesn't have problems? Yeah, everybody, yeah. everybody. So that was a, a big challenge, mm -hmm. trying to live in a country that is totally different language. Different culture. Um, different culture as well, mm -hmm. yeah. And learn how to drive a car I never tried before since I came here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that could be... Mm -hmm. Tell me, if I ask you about habits. What kind of habit do you apply every single day? Uh, the habit that I have is try to have a healthy food, mm -hmm. um, healthy life. Healthy life, I mean doing physical activities, you know, dancing, uh, but it's not just dancing, it's in general movement. Mm -hmm. um, I don't I don't drink. I'm not saying that drink is bad, but I personally don't drink. Uh, I have a little bit of wine, just sometimes when I'm with friends, when I have a relaxing time. So I have just a little bit of water of wine, red wine, and that's it. So what do you do when you go to a party? So you, what do you drink? I drink water, uh, some uh, orange juice or something more, basically more water. Mm -hmm. But that is just a habit, and I know that it's not easy to have this habit. This habit uh, take me long time because before I used to drink you know, like a soft drink, and then when I found out that it's not really good for our system, mm -hmm. so I change to water. So now basically I drink just water. I'm more than happy to drink just water. So what do you advise to people that probably they like to, to drink alcohol in a party every single day? Or every yeah. single party? Well, uh, alcohol is, in the quant nothing in quantity is good. Mm -hmm. To be so healthy is not good. So we need to be healthy and unhealthy a little bit. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think that to drink too much al alcohol is not good. And I know a few people because I work in a uh, care facility and it's totally a dementia facility and we have a few residents, really young, 50, no, they're 60 and they have a, a dementia with, from the alcohol, from drinking alcohol. Um, I suggest that we can change the habit because mm. to drink is a habit. So yes. change slowly and it's not easy, but it's up to you to change, take time, let your body know that the change will come, but you need to be strong and slowly, slowly, gradually try to drink less, at least to drink less. Yes, of course. Uh, Thomas, I've been receiving emails from different countries, uh, from Honduras. I've got a question for you, please. Uh, the lady says, I've got seven months pregnancy, and the question is, can I continue exercising? I'm scared of losing my baby. Seven months is already a long time, pregnancy time. Uh, we need to know the background of this uh, lady. If she was doing uh, physical activities before his, her pregnancy, maybe she continued, but seven months again is too much. I think that the best advice could come from her doctor uh, because I have a few Sumba uh, students that they came with like an eight month and a half baby there and it was doing just Zumba. But that person was doing physical activities mm -hmm. before. It's a very active person. So basically you need to know, um, we need to know more about this person if she was doing, and I saw a dancer as well, the, like a nine month with a big tummy, mm -hmm. um, dancing, performing. But again, it's everything up to your body, how you were treating your body. Or probably she needs to talk to the doctor, you say? Basically, talk to the and seven months is mm -hmm. more, yeah. Okay. Another question, please, the second one. Uh, the person says, how can I have a successful business? Sometimes I don't have enough money to invest and I want to sell my business. Feeling really disappointed? Some advice, please. Uh, we need to know what is the point of disappointment because if it's disappointment because the business didn't work, you need to know before start a business that uh, somehow you're going to have up and down in the business. Yeah. So my best advice will be before start a business, you need to looking for something or an industry that you really love to do. For example, for me, I really love to dance, I really love to teach. 
and it's not easy sometimes you know, open a new place for dancing and then doesn't work but I have the passion to continue and I try to open another place so that means that I found something that I really want to do dancing and teach how to dance so that gives me the energy to continue so I don't have disappointment just I say okay doesn't work I'm going to try another place so if we are in this point that try to sell the business I think that it's better just to sell because sometimes in one place I'm in one place and then I feel that this place is okay, doesn't worry much, just I let it go. Mm -hmm. Especially because probably it's affecting his health. As well, yeah, we need to be really careful mm -hmm. with our good health, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Thomas. Uh, thank you very much, Thomas. It's, it was a really pleasure to have you here, and I give you all the best. Oh, thank you. Thank you for all people from the Dreaming Show. Thank you very much for being with us. See you next time. All the best.
Hola, soy Gaby Company y esto es The Dreaming Show. Hoy día estamos cubriendo el evento, los cuatro años aniversario de Thomas. Y me he quedado sorprendida porque he visto a la señora bailando cerca de dos horas sin parar. Buenas noches, señora. Buenas noches. Encantada de conocerla. De igual manera, ¿cuál es su nombre? Elsa. Elsa. ¿De dónde es usted, Elsa? Yo soy de Bolivia, pero he emigrado a Argentina y prácticamente me considero argentina y ahora australiana porque he emigrado a Australia y me hice también ciudadana australiana. ¿Qué tiempo eh, tiene Australia? 32 años. 32 años viviendo en Australia. En Australia sí, qué lindo, sí, qué lindo. Sí, Dígame usted, ¿qué la motiva a bailar? Bueno, uno de los motivos que me motiva para, para poder bailar o para poder hacer este tipo de ejercicio que es el zumba es, es la música, porque a mí este, yo, yo vivo por la música, me gusta la música de muy pequeña, siempre a mi padre le gustaba escuchar música de salsa, tangos y todas esas cosas. Entonces, este, prácticamente por eso, uno de los motivos es por eso, porque este, mentalmente me siento mejor, físicamente mejor espiritualmente mejor. Qué bien, bien qué bien. bien. Dígame usted, aparte de zumba, ¿hace otro ejercicio? Bueno, eh, yo por ejemplo hago, voy a la swimming, uh -huh. no muy seguido, este, camino, me gusta caminar mucho también, uh -huh. tengo problemas con mis piernas como todo el mundo, a la edad mía que tengo 67 años, tiene oh, problemas de, de, de los huesos o, diabe o diabetes, yo lo tengo, este, pero yo me ayudo yo misma. Yo sé que si yo no lo hago, nadie lo va a hacer por mí. Claro, claro. Porque es uno de los motivos que, que me que decidí hacer este tipo de ejercicio. Pero yo la felicito porque me he quedado maravillada de verla bailar con esa pasión, con ese ritmo. No solamente era escuchar la música. Todo su movimiento va compaginado con la música. Realmente porque la felicito. Me gusta mucho. La, de, de muy pequeña siempre me gustaba bailar salsa. Aunque no es de mi país, es de otros países, pero la, la salsa en medio pienso que es, es por el turno del mundo entero, ¿no? Es, uh -huh, es claro. Famosa en todo el mundo. Lo importante es lo que usted sienta. Yeah, uh -huh. Exacto. Yes. Elsa, sí. si usted le daría un mensaje a las personas que nos están mirando ahorita, aquellas personas que de repente quieren hacer ejercicio, quieren bajar de peso, pero por una otra razón no se deciden y siguen sedentarios. ¿Qué les diría a usted, Elsa? Yo le diría que se levanten, que salgan y que digan, bueno, yo voy a hacer algo por mí. Especialmente a la edad mía, que, que cerca de los 70, cuando tiene que estando en casa, ya cuando uno llega a cierta edad, que, de, que tiene que descansar, a veces este, la, el estrés este, es, es un poco. Le, le, estar en casa le causa estrés, entonces levantarse, salir a caminar, hablar con la gente, tener amistades, tomar un café y hacer este tipo de ejercicios, ¿no? uh -huh. swimming, swimming o caminar también, o bailar, yo muchas veces estoy sola, estoy bailando en mi casa. Ajá, qué bien, bien. qué bien, qué bien sí, Elsa, bien. muchísimas gracias no, Elsa, un, un gusto de conocerla y nuevamente la felicito. Ya, muchas gracias. Uh -huh. Hasta luego. Hasta luego.